So the box is sealed. Cool little nicks. Very small. Um, that one kind of goes through a little bit, but still it doesn't feel like it hit the next layer. We'll open it up and see what it looks like inside. Um, yeah. They taped the crap out of this thing. Well, probably helps you find the cardboard scene too. We'll get a roll of filament. Pretty generic. Hopefully I'm in the right spot. I can't even see my screen. I got the most ghetto webcam setup ever invented, so I don't like it. Does. Look at that, huh? Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. They call this semi-assembled. <laughs> Um, there's a print mat. I guess it's, they say it's made of PVC. I'm not sure if I want to use it. I heard shouldn't because it heats up. But then again, back in high school, I used to melt PVC to bend it. So, I don't know. That would be the print bed. That's acrylic, I think. Yeah, that's acrylic. Um, and some lead screws those are actually lead screws and not just um not just screws i don't know those are better than Hack hackney screws i don't know something like that uh bowden extruder all metal that's actually quite a bit of tension on that that i was kind of worried about these things because i've never used one before i figured it'd feel loose or something Definitely doesn't feel loose. That actually takes a little bit of force to get uh to get moving. So that's pretty nice. Set up an area for putting stuff. What else do we got? This is wired. This is the heated bed. Um, they say it's a 200 watt heat bed, and I'm still working on verifying that. There's the memory card. I'll pop that in soon. Some end caps. I don't know what happened with that. It almost looks wet. But that's a that's acrylic so no huh? is it i don't know what the hell that is maybe it's acrylic i think it's acrylic it's got a little capture point and then that stays open for the lead screw stepper driver for the z-axis there's another one of those right here so I got two of those. That looks like the mounting hardware for the bed. Springs and screws. Little wing nuts. All sorts of good stuff. I don't know. Yeah, it's up there. Somewhere in there. We'll figure it out after. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is what I was wondering. Do I going to have to assemble this whole thing? And it looks like I'm not. That's all one unit there. So that's going to be super easy to put together. It's even wired already. Um, there's a coolant fan. comes with a coolant fan. It's not, not the best coolant fan model, in my opinion. I don't know. From what I watch, I don't really have much of an opinion because I've never done this before. But from what I watch, they like those turbo or axial ones better. You see that? They actually warn about that too. 
that's uh, some plastic. They, um, they actually build these and test them and then tear them down a little bit like this so that they can ship them. So you know everything works. If you look at like the A-Nets or the TiVo Tarantula or some of those other kits, those are real kits. I mean, you get a box full of parts. Nobody ever put it together to see if anything works as far as I know. As far as I know, the only thing that happens is it goes through whatever quality control at wherever they make each individual part, and that's about it. So for my first printer, I figured this would be a lot easier to put together, and I'm definitely right. I mean, this is all assembled. I mean, there's going to be two screws. The screws, the screws for this are actually sitting right through the plastic. And so I, that's super easy. Um, data cable. Power plug. I did put in the notes to make sure that they sent me a US plug. Um, it's a good idea just to leave comments and say thank you at the end. There you go. It's courteous. This is a, um, a mounting bracket, a uh, filament holder. I'm going to 3D print something cool for this. I mean, this is obviously pretty flimsy. Um, that will come later, though. What else do we got in here? That is a limit switch. Oh, the, I think these are the spares. They send a spare limit switch, a spare heater cartridge, um, a spare thermistor. Yeah, these are all spares. Cool. Now, I've offloaded the. Oh, here's some uh, tools. Oh, oh, cool little screwdriver. I don't know, I'm into electronic cigarettes too, so I might use that little screwdriver. Hey, what's wrong with using little screwdrivers? Those are awesome. Second, a collection of them. That seems to be about it. I mean, I might as well show off the base real quick, but this is going to take some serious work. Um, I don't really know the best way to get this out. Move this frame out of the way. And this is the other cool thing. You know, I mean, A Nets, like $75 cheaper than this. And I'm going to use the word cheaper. Um, but this thing actually has a full metal base. There's my display. It comes with an on-off switch. Oh, hopefully I'm in camera frame. Um, there's the power plug back here. I mean, everything is super clean with this. All, all your electronics are underneath. Um, they're not mounted on the side, which actually kind of sucks because I kind of want to access those things. But that's okay because... It's just some metal. I can drill holes in it. I can make little trap doors. I can do whatever I want. So I'll get to that point eventually. Oh, and there's the last piece. That is the extruder tube for the Bowden. I know I've never seen one of these before, so I can't tell you what the quality is like. I have no idea. And that's it. I'm going to start putting it together.